What's up, everybody? This is Tyler Stephen Towards your thing news, and uh, from the looks of it, it might look like I have two of the same exact machines here, but they are not the same. These I'm just gonna be showing the uh, differences, father like father like son, on these two machines here. So this is a Dell Inspiron 1501. This is a 15 inch basic notebook, Giga RAM, and the very generic Intel Core Duo, not a Core 2 Duo, just a Core Duo, which is a dual core 32 bit CPU. I believe it's a Core Duo 2 or T 2260. I could be very incorrect. I don't know exactly what these machines are packing hardware wise, but uh a little lookup in device manager won't stop us, will it? I'll do the same with this one. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, there's some baseline system devices that are not installed. Both of these machines were pretty much freebies. This one wasn't, but this one I got for free. Long story on that. Processor. Yeah, no, this actually has a... T2050 uh, at 1.60 gigahertz, and this one has a T2250 at 1.73 gigahertz. So these machines are not that far apart from each other when it comes to processor. 2 gigs of RAM, 1 gig of RAM. Uh, this computer is mainly my grandma's. Uh, I, I gave this to her to use, not to keep though, but to use. I'll probably give this one to her to keep. So I don't think I'll use that one, but this one has some issues with it. Main issue with this machine is that the battery on it, the charging circuit, is completely dead. You can see the computer doesn't know what to make of the battery. And, uh, as you can see, it says, consider replacing... That's because I got a cheapo battery in here. But this machine, it just needs a battery. It, if you plug it in, it'll run off of the wall. And it'll give you, like, 4,000 hours remaining left on the battery. It's hilarious. But, um... Unfortunately, you need to have the battery in here, and once the battery dies, you cannot charge it. It's just what this machine comes in for. This machine charges the battery. I have a 9 cell I could throw into this machine, because this, the cell that was in here, that I put in here is a 6 cell. But I just want to go over the main differences between these two machines. So, what's the difference between this version and this? Well, the Inspiron, this is an Inspiron E1705. This is a really battered up one. I was going to rebuild this. I started rebuilding it with some really cheap parts that honestly are not that great. Like this DVD drive right here. I don't even know if I can open this thing. Oh no, I can. Okay. Yeah, see, like, I don't even think this is, like, mounted. Yeah, see? It's not even mounted. So... And the hard drive is not even mounted in there right either. But this machine is fairly upgraded. It's got a 500 gig hard drive, which is actually split into two partitions. I was going to install Ubuntu on here. I never did. Uh, I was actually thinking about installing Windows XP Media Center Edition. Um, that's what I wanted to do. So I wanted to dual boot this machine with Windows uh, XP Media Center Edition, which would actually not be easy to do. Finding that distribution would not be very easy. It would be common. So it would be kind of a pain. But my main goal was to kind of show you the, the key differences. First off, both of these machines have a thing. I, it doesn't have it anymore, but there is a, se a secret boot partition where if you press, I don't know what button it was. This button right here. Oh, this one didn't have it. This one did. But when you press this button here, when it turns on, it would actually pull up a menu. You pop a DVD in here, and you could use these buttons to play the DVD. And basically, it was a DVD player. It's a portable DVD player uh, and a laptop, which is dumb because you can literally just load up Windows, throw a DVD in there, and it'll work. So, what the fuck? <laughs> Honestly, like, what was Dell trying to do there? I don't know. It was obviously very stupid, so it doesn't really matter. This machine had the partition for it, 
but it didn't even have the, the, the little button to push down on it, and I couldn't get to it any other way. I ended up flashing the hard drive in this machine, and this machine doesn't even have the stack hard drive. This machine is more oriented to business applications. The EXX05 uh, models are oriented towards um, multimedia and ultrabook use. This machine, there's actually two models of this machine. There's a 15 inch and a 17 inch. This is the 17 inch. I don't know if you can notice, but this, this one is a 15 inch. This is a 17 inch. But uh, one of the key differences is in the 15 inch and 17 inch of this model, um, there are some really good sounding speakers in it. I, I will not lie with you. It's even better sounding than the 2015 MacBook Pro. I, I kid you not. Like, uh, it sounds amazing. It really does. Let me, let me just show you what this sounds like, being that this is a business notebook. I'll play a song here, and you'll see what it sounds like. Uh, let me start from the beginning. All right, here we go. So obviously, obviously that's really cheesy. All right, well, now let's go to this one. Start from the beginning, and we'll see how this sounds. Ready? Yeah, that might not sound like it's coming out of that laptop, but that's coming out of this laptop. I kid you not. There is actually a subwoofer. I don't know if you can see it, but and this machine's stripped apart, by the way. Where's the little woofer? Oh, right there. See? Right there. It's got a full, like, inch and a half woofer in it. Or maybe, like, an inch-ish. Not an inch and a half. It's way too big. But it's got a huge subwoofer in it. And I, I, the subwoofer doesn't make a difference. Watch. I'll disable this. Disable the subwoofer and watch what hap what it will sound like. That's what it sounds like without the subwoofer. This is what it sounds like with the subwoofer. Alright, so obviously this is a really good sounding system. So one of the differences divide these two systems apart. Well, this system as a 900p screen, which uh, the 17 inch version of this laptop does not have a 900p screen. It only has a 768p screen. There's not a 900p screen. I think there might be a 900p screen upgrade, but I'm not entirely sure of the overall um, screen. This actually has a much nicer screen though, besides the fact that there are dead pixels on it. As you can kind of see there's dead pixels running through here. But uh, this screen is obviously larger resolution, but this is a, uh, a glossy screen. So as you can see, icons are much sharper. With this one, this is a matte screen, so icons are not nearly as sharp. But as you can see, it is a max resolution of 1440 by 900p. So it's not bad. It's not a bad screen. And this machine has a dedicated graphics in it. It's got NVIDIA. I don't even know. Uh, it's weird, though, because I don't have the right driver installed. But it's one of those, like, half-on, half-off deal where you can actually run off of the Intel graphics on here. Then when you go ahead and plug the machine in, it switches over to the dedicated graphics. And I just don't have it set up correctly. So right now it's running off the Intel graphics. But this machine literally in in the 15 inch model, there's literally two heat sinks, one here, one here, and there's two fans, and basically what happens is the GPU is over here, the GPU and North Bridge connect over here, and the CPU has its own fan right here, and that, it's, it's a very good design, very, very, very quiet too. But uh, if you, this machine is able to be controlled through speed fan. So if you go ahead and you want to spin the fan up on this machine, it, it, it does, it's not that loud, even at full throttle. But believe it or not, the uh, if you turn the fan all the way up, it, it, it does cool the system down dramatically. It is a very marked improvement. Just to give you an overall performance, even though this is a core duo, running Windows 7, that, that's not bad. You guys, you guys get got to admit, that's not half bad. The system is pretty much running at an idle of 0 to 1%. Of course, all my machines are pretty much flashed and they're running smoothly. So that's not really an issue. So let me close out of these. Let me just see what this is doing. This, this machine doesn't have as good of a CPU and it doesn't have as good as RAM. But yeah, see? Pretty much idle. 
And this only has a gig of RAM, which is a very big limitation on this machine. But it seems to work just fine on that gig of RAM, so screw it, right? And of course, what uh, the graphics are good enough to do this. I am logged on to a different account. This isn't my account, by the way. I just wanted to show you the overall performance of this system. It's, it's not bad. Um, the audio is obviously a marked improvement. There's obviously a, a higher resolution screen, which is really nice, and um, a good, better processor, and the baseline RAM is 2 gigs on this machine. Obviously, these machines were made in 05, or 04, no, 05. This machine, the BIOS is completely upgraded. The BIOS is revision A17. So, whoever, my friend gave this to me, but whoever owned this before my friend obviously personally did some upgrades to it because the BIOS was completely not stock and this machine was so loaded with crap it was unbelievable it was completely trash so I went ahead and I uh, formatted the partition and reinstalled it and that was it but yeah We'll go ahead, like these, this machine also, this machine as you might notice has some dead pixels running through it, and that's not only in this one to the edge of the corner here. That's not just, that's, you might be wondering, oh, that's just a stupid screen problem. Not really. Uh, by screen problem, you mean it got smashed in the corner here. The, uh, it can't tell if it's closed anymore, so that's broken. But it fell in a corner six feet onto concrete. That's what my friend told me when he had this. And these older Dell machines are just freaking tanks, man. They really are. The, the Dell business class and, and higher-end model machines that they have are just absolute tanks. They are very thick, though. You know, the funny part is I all used to own, like, um, I believe I owned the AMD versions of this machine. Um... I owned an AMD version of this machine and two of the same exact models of this machine. I might still have the same exact model up in the attic. Uh, I sold the AMD and the other Core Duo one, but I saved the I saved the Core Duo one with the broken screen because I didn't think it, I would get anything for it, and I was kind of wondering if I could actually put parts into it. I've got the parts right here. Obviously, this is not a very good amount of parts, but. If anything, I'll take the parts of the, that old laptop and I'll throw it in here and bam, I can upgrade it. Because I know that one does have a full 4 gigs of GDR2 RAM. Uh, it was upgraded. The original owner upgraded to 4 gigs. So that is easily doable. But as for this machine, I don't really know what I'm going to use these laptops for. These machines are good to an extent. We'll put it there. Yeah, they are capable of playing and... Uh, reading and playing back DVDs uh, fine as far as I know they should be able to do that just fine if they have any issues with that then that's pretty stupid I don't see why it would have issues recording that excuse me I'm really tired um yeah that's all I really have to say I'm just gonna shut these machines down they don't really need to be logged in yeah like I said this machine doesn't know when it's closed oh crap maybe it does it just kinda Minimize there, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut these machines down here. Um, these are good machines. This machine's the Wi Fi card, and it's kind of on the fritz, it's about to go. Uh, yeah, these buttons light up if you press them, by the way. I always really found that interesting. Um, I, I could have got like 16 of these things for my school. Uh, they're I don't know if they were being recycled or thrown out, but if they were being thrown out, I could have actually taken like a bunch of these things. And a lot of them were just put out for scrap, but I bet I could just take other parts of them and build new ones and stuff out of it. This one tends to get very, very hot in this general location, um, which is weird because uh, maybe that is where the heat sink is. Um, no, over here is where it gets the hottest, so I don't know what's over here. But something over there is, gets really freaking warm. I have no idea what it is. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that while the computer's still on. This machine's hard drive is not the best. It works. Put it in that sense that it does work. Definitely not fast. 
but it does indeed work. But that that screen is actually really nice, actually. You may not be able to see it, but... Excuse me, I'm really tired. It's kind of early in the morning for me to be making videos. But that screen is a nice, 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 nice uh, metallic, not metallic, uh, glossy screen. Glossy screens are really nice, of course, but when you, ha this is a multimedia machine, you might be wondering, well, wouldn't multimedia machines have glossy screens? Technically, yes. This is technically more of an ultrabook, I guess you could say, and it is a multimedia machine in that sense of a multimedia laptop, but, um... They put a matte screen on here because let's say you're watching movies on, on a, in a train or something or in a bus or, or in a subway station or whatever thing and light is coming through the windows and shining on your laptop. You can't see crap with a glossy screen. It blares off and it's impossible to see. Matte screens take care of that in a very good way. As a matter of fact, my lens is extremely dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but I know I can. That's really gross. I'm going to have to clean that. Uh, yeah, it is really nasty. I, I gotta clean that. And yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. This is like a 15 minute video. I just wanted to show you guys like these two laptops. I don't have a purpose for them yet. They're look at how robust these look at how robust these things are. Look, for a laptop to make that kind of a sound when it closes, yeah, you don't you don't get that anymore. Uh, this machine has got some power circuit issues, actually. I already, I think I already discussed that, but yeah. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.